or at least two in, in no that's that perfect that, that's perfect so right now there's currently confirmed to be over 90 million shares sold short right so there should at least be plus that thank you off the top exactly so that's the minimum number this that is the intro of the video right here this is the intro what time is it 50 minutes in this is the intro right here this is how we're going to start and then cut to everything else perfect so in my opinion here's what you could probably do with eight we were talking about this in the live stream after that uh amc like after the earnings call that amc has a lot of debt now they have those preferred shares that they could have issued if they wanted to and just convert them as as they wanted to but what they did instead was offer these apes these amc preferred equity and it's going to be listed i believe tradable on the 22nd of august correct so what i think is the most logical aspect of this i think amc biggums was talking about this too is that what they can then do if it ends up getting pumped we've seen this with tide and bbig before um they have more of these apes that they can issue if they want to so if there's a new market, so you have to think of them in like two things. So we have AMC, the common shares over here. Then you have yep. these new preferred equity units as something completely different. Yep. Um, what they then could do is that if these preferred equity units pump, you then could see them do an offering that doesn't affect these. They raise more capital over here from essentially like a new market of shares. Mm -hmm. And they're able to maybe not wipe out the entire debt load, but a significant portion of it by selling more of them into the market once they're actually tradable. Now, what that does is that, well, okay, if a lot of these large institutions are going to say, this is what we think AMC is valued at right now with their current debt load and the current cash flow projections, if you wipe out a bunch of debt, those whole models change and the valuation gets completely turned on its head and pumps up higher. So that's going to take a little while to play out, the, though. But I think yeah, if the possible. short thesis is killed then 100 million, 90 to 100 million current estimated shares sold short are fucked. Exactly. And there is a time stamp to it because two things. One is they put urgency on the eight, uh, the eight stock. Whew, See, we, almost, I, we keep calling it a clone. I, I kept messing almost, that up the other day too. I thought yeah, like it was it, it, because there was some eight thin. There's been calling. There was another one. There's been so many of them. Exactly. Exactly. I got it today. I got it. Uh, yeah. Today in the live stream, people are like, what coin? I was just like, oh shit. I mean, stock I, I was doing it too after i was like oh it's not a coin it's a, it it reminds it's me of a coin it's like Especially the same like the, thing, the, the, but uh, it's just on the new york stock exchange exactly and the um the ape uh the uh the apes have their own coin now right like the uh the nfts have their own coin so the ape coin is like their thing but yeah. if the short thesis is killed all those shorts are dead not mm -hmm. dead as in like they don't have to go anywhere, but the thesis for in which they actually got short is no longer there. That's one. And the second thing is they're short AMC. Once they split them in two, does that short interest still get pushed onto ape? So it's now you're short here, but they're able to raise equity here. Because if they're able to raise equity here, your short thesis could potentially do what better. Because at least the price would be decreased. But if you shift it over here, it pulls out money without actually acquiring the same short interest. That is interesting. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, I mean, doing what's best for the company, there's always that. Um, yeah. But people could also make a lot some of money. Other things. He mentioned some other things where he was like, it's going to enable us to either uh, to, to enter more like merger acquisition opportunities. I haven't looked into too much how that's possible with it maybe it's through the capital raises that we were talking about but when you think about the capital raises here it's non-dilutive of the amc common stock it would be dilutive of ape so it's different. exactly and, it, and the, funny, the funny thing too is like there is a there's a time limit on when you can get ape well yes if, in order in order to get the first round of them if right. they're it, like the 516 million number right. so i think it's the 15th i think is the x dividend date the end, of the end of the day so it's mm -hmm. like you have the 15 and none of this you have to get t plus two no guys 15th is the 15th all right i'm tired of people saying well this is the date for a spinoff or a dividend no no the date is the date no t plus mm -hmm. two bullshit the 15th end of the day you guys know what time it is you get it at the 19th after hours it could be in your account it might not be but on the monday it should be now if there is not and i have an international account i got some domestic accounts too but we're not gonna talk about that i have an international account you have a domestic account mm-hmm Hopefully, we both have one-to-one -one in our accounts. It'd be really nice. If we do not have one-to-one -one in our accounts, then there comes the question. Are there more than the 516 million shares out there, or is there simply just an international issue?
Because this brings out- into the really bullish scenario. Eggs. Let's talk about that. So, so when you think about the really, really potentially bullish scenario of what this could do, what I want everybody to think about, it's going to be hard for some, some people to think about it in this way, but the synthetic naked short part of it, just throw it to the side. It doesn't matter in this scenario here, really. You want me to do it what? To extent, but it's, it's just, it's. No, you're right. You're right. Go ahead. It's, so it's, it's to what extent are they completely screwed? Either way, what you have to think about is that when a share gets like basically borrowed and loaned out, it's owned by two people anyway. Or at least two individuals. No, that's perfect. That's perfect. So right now, there's currently confirmed to be over 90 million shares sold short. Right. So there should at least be... 516 plus that. Thank you. Off the top. Exactly. So that's the minimum number. This is the intro of the video right here. This is the intro. What time is it? 15 minutes in? This is the intro right here. This is how we're going to start. Then we can cut to everything else. Perfect. So we know that there's X amount right now. Even that's probably the bare minimum. But we know bare minimum, that's the number. Yep. So what could end up happening is that there's going to be some debacle on how they're going to get these apes out to the shareholders that actually hold them. Exactly. Because technically, you own a share, you own a share, you're still a shareholder. So you're still entitled. But when, a sh- when you're short a stock, I think a lot of people understand this by now, but when you're short and there's a dividend, you have to pay it. If it's in some weird form, how are you going to pay it? Now, here's why I don't necessarily think that, I'm, well, so in order to get to that really bullish scenario is that, yeah. well, in order to pay it, they can't, they close out their short position, we rip. The pro, the only, it's not a problem, but the only issue I see is, is, well, we've seen things like this happen before. And it, the a really good example is Overstock. Like that was something that was very, very, very new. And in two or three days, the large banking institutions figured out a way to let the shorts basically provide a cash equivalent to the dividend and allow them to keep their shares. So it almost has to be something like brand new, nobody's seen before. So we can get that like two or three day period of, Oh boy, we don't know what to do. That's it. And and to me, and I, I don't know if, and I want to say like, I want to think positive glass half full, but let's just keep it a hundred percent 50, 50. I don't know if the lack of detail on the call was intentional or unintentional. Because I think either questions. way, like either way, it's beneficial. It's just a timing thing. So that, well, that's my thing, right? It's like, I don't like, for example, that scenario of that time where they have to figure out like, are we fucked or not? Or how bad are we fucked? Is like, I'm pretty sure that could have potentially been highlighted on the call if they gave us more detail on how this is exactly going to be done. So I don't know if the lack of detail was intentional, where it's like, oh, we don't, we're just going to let this shit settle first. Or if they actually don't even know yet. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know yeah. if, I don't know which one's which, but hopefully... This works out for the better. Okay, so just to recap really quickly, we have fundamentally speaking, the company's doing much better. Mm-hmm. If the box office improves like is expected, he said Q1, Q2, Q3 last year, we'll do double next year. Right now, we're, look like, we're looking like we're doing double. That's what we're heading towards. He said on this earnings call, we can be doing billions more next year. That could potentially get us back to 2000, early to late 2000 kind of box office numbers. Great. Um. We are paying off debt slowly but surely. He just paid off seventy thousand, seventy two point five thousand. Like a little shout to all time high. All right, cool. That was, that was cute. Um, signed the contract in crayon. He's doing. He's doing all the things right now. The apes want. Like he's doing all the things. Now the ape coin could potentially bolster the fundamentals more. It's not. It's not coin. It's not coin. Fuck me. I'm gonna. It's every time. Eighteen minutes. Every Eighteen time. minutes. Boop. Eighteen minutes. The ape stock. Fuck me. <laughs> no one. The ape. This part's gonna be on your channel. It's not gonna be on my channel. Oh. The, okay. uh, <laughs> the, the ape. Uh, stock could potentially be great for the company also temporarily very valuable for retail holders because yeah. if it rips they could dilute if it rips but it has to rip first mm-hmm. and then it's like all right now you have a choice to make and, it, and I, I don't know how people are going to view the buying whole thing with the ape stock like that's going to be a whole another conversation for another time i guess it's like yeah, they can do whatever they want with it. I think the whole point of it at that point is one to potentially screw over the shorts. And then at that point, you kind of know that if that doesn't happen, the capital raise is coming. And then it just, and then AMC goes. It could. Yeah, it, it could. Then, I mean, I'm waiting to see. I mean, I'm just, I'm more cautiously optimistic. Ah. I, think it's, I think it's net new. I think it's net good, but I'm waiting to see. Like, I'm not going to come on and just be like, it's fine. Like, it's crazy. But it's, it, I think it's, I think it's a decent way. I think this is a good thing. I don't think it's bad. All right. So uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy us, guys. If you guys have not yet, of course, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to his channel. Don't forget, guys, to uh, click the link at the bottom of the description. Join us. Listen, 
regardless of what happens next week, I do know that this motherfucker is going to be scalping like a bitch. Oh, we're going to be making money left, right, and center. I'm going to be just scalping like a motherfucker as well. Come check us out in the Discord. Links in the description below. What mm -hmm. was your play of the day today? It was probably AMC calls. Uh, okay, it was same. either AMC calls or coin. I've been I've been hitting a lot of coin too. If you guys are interested in figuring out how to get into AMC uh, calls efficiently, yeah, that's what I got for you guys right now. SCV, any last words? I'm good, guys. Deuces. Peace.